Hey guys, check this out. I wanted to show you something that I saw on the internet and I thought it was very interesting. So I wanted you to also see what I saw and I wanted to uh, express what I thought about it. And so what I'm seeing from this video is a bunch of Hollywood theatrics. You know, Tyler Perry is acting like he's in a stage play somewhere. And the ignorant population of the church is going along with that. And I'm wondering, is this the normal type of activity that goes on in these churches on Sunday? I want you to see this. Uh, bullshit performance by T.D. Jakes and, and Tyler Perry. Take note. God bless you. It's caught me a little off guard, Bishop. A, a, a couple of, uh, what was it, three or four days ago? Three or four days ago, I, I called. I was at Manpower. And um, being blessed. Wrote my check out. I said, you know, I, I, I didn't have my checkbook when I got to Pastor White's. Uh, when I got to a, a woman that I lose the night before and Pastor White said, you know, write a check for $113,000 for those of you who can. Write a, write a check for $113 for a, Psalms 113. And I wrote a check for $113,000. And I admit <clears throat> my intention was to just leave the check and bless God. Because, see, I love to give. I've been a giver all my life. And when people have given to you, and sewn into See, Tyler Perry is up there seeking his reward right now. He's got all of the pauses going on after he says something. He's trying to get the crowd riled up and applaud and that type of thing. This is a performance. When God has touched them and given, given you favor, because see, when you have favor with... Come on, somebody. See, they don't understand it where I come from. They don't understand it in Hollywood. But I'm going to tell you something about the blood of Jesus. All of my life, you know, my mother, she didn't have much to give me. She didn't have millions of dollars. She didn't have some legacy, but she had Jesus. And she taught me about that God. So he said his mom taught him about Jesus. She taught him about that God. You mean to tell me this cross dressing, Johnson sucking, wig wearing, male, probably one of those alphabet people, got a God? Okay, so his God must be a devil, which confirms what I've been saying all the time. Jesus is a devil. I didn't even know that he was he was trying to build this youth center. I didn't even know it, but I know how important the youth are. So we were sitting in the service, and I leaned up toward him, and I said, I've just been touched to give a million dollars. So as... So when you got up here and you said a million dollars, I said, God, I don't know what you're doing, but I know I heard your voice. Hey! <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, when you hear the voice of God, you move. Don't worry about what nobody says to you. Don't worry about what it looks like. Don't worry about your enemy. Don't worry about your hater. He will bless you. He will lift you. He will give Sometimes you spend too much time worried about your haters. You spend too much time worried about people talking about you. But what you need to understand is that the Bible says in order for you to be blessed, your haters have to be present. How do I know that? The book of Psalms says he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. So in order for me to eat, they have to be present. So God bless you, Bishop. I pray right now that you will continue to do everything you're doing. I pray his anointing will stay upon you. I pray the power of God all over you. I pray his favor. I Look at all the deacons run over there to catch him. I meant to say deacons run over there to catch him on cue. The blood of Jesus will come upon you right now. Keep you in his hair. God, I thank you for your blessings. Come on! 
Will somebody give God some praise? He's pushing that baby out. Come on, he's pushing that baby out. Somebody call a push. Push. Now come on and praise him. Here's another prime example of why God had the prophets right that the woman is supposed to be silent in the church. What kind of ridiculousness is she talking about? What baby is she talking about that he need to push out? I guess it's a he. Nowadays, the he's don't know themselves from the she's. So I don't know what's going on, but all I know is that she's talking about pushing out a baby. Only a woman can push out a baby, not a male. See, the operative word is womb man. Womb man. Not male. Push out babies. What kind of baby could Tyler Perry be, uh, could, could T.D. Jakes be pushing out? Give me a break.